Mexico, it's in the state of Guanajuato. It's very right in the center of the country. It's a cultural center for artists of all walks and all mediums. And I wanted to show you a little bit about the city, what I love about it, where I work. And you can see this beautiful panoramic view. It's, it's amazing, so come with me. I'll take you to the studio. If you want to go with me through my day, this is kind of the place I walk. You have to be a goat to walk here. Would you walk down to the Hardy and we'll show you a little bit around the city. Check out the walls as we go because it's an amazing influence on my work is the walls and the age. I wanted to bring you here because this is the center of the city. This is the Hardy and one of the largest cathedrals is just off to my left. It's very, very special. Oh, check out these trees. They're round. It's so special. And there's a blue guy right here. I mean, I love it, and I wanted to share this place with you because I come through here every morning. Every morning of my life, I come right here. This is Starbucks in San Miguel. Quite different. It's a whole different animal. Beautiful Ola Hacienda. I love it. Welcome to my studio. Very private space that I love very much. When I'm working on a show, like I am now, 67 hours a day, for a period of several months. I work non-representational abstract work with brushes that are this tiny, do this, weapons of art. <laughs> I work in acrylic and sometimes in oil, all I say is like hurting cats. I work very large scale and I have a lot of flexibility because the craftsmen here in Mexico can build anything. That's one of the joys of being able to fabricate whatever you want. I love big. Check this out. This is an unfinished piece that I rarely show unfinished pieces. Look at this! It's huge! I love that. It's exciting to me to have a new show of a scale, a large scale piece. I have several. And then I go down to 24 by 24 inches. This will go ship to Dallas in one big stretched thing. Um, I love that. I love being able to do that. This is a piece that's more the palettes of the colonial colors. And I do a lot of red. If I don't watch it, I do too many. I have to turn them to the wall so that I can free up some other colors. More and more of my work is becoming, um, I bring my own personal experiences to this space every day, just like you do to your workplace. Except my job is to express those in a way that maybe you can take a message and filter it through your own experience. I find myself starting to write on canvases. This one is a piece in process. The blank part will be filled in. It's about love. I love love. <laughs> Everybody loves love. It's not a message that dictates to you what you should think about anything, but it is a way for me to express whatever I'm feeling in my life, whatever positive I can do in my work, because there's so little that we can control. And that way, you can filter it through you and see what you think. I don't know if you've seen my work, I don't know if you'll get to see my work, but if you do, you'll be the one that decides if I'm successful at what I'm doing. I love what I do, and I hope you come to see what I do, and uh, enjoy.